Hey everybody, I'm Chris at Wolf Ridge Manufacturing. Today is a Saturday and it's rainy outside and uh, kind of miserable weather. We had some freezing rain overnight and uh, off and on rain all day. Uh, so I'm hanging out at the shop and I'm working on the mill and getting some, some wings done for our 12-way wedges. And then we're gonna try out something new. I've got a new and improved wing design that I think is gonna make those wedges hold up even better than they have. Here at Wolf Ridge, we use AR400 material for all of our wings and all of our cutting edges on our machines. And uh, that material is really great, super durable material, but it can be tricky to weld. And uh, I think one way we can make them even better going forward is to add more surface area for welding and uh, it will be a little less critical if the weld is not absolutely perfect. Um, the wedge is still going to hold up really well. And uh, of course, you know, we here, you know, a lot of companies don't offer this, but we have a full one year free replacement warranty on our wedges. Um, a lot of, a lot of places, those, those wear items like uh, your, your four way wedge, um, a lot of companies that's a wear item and they don't warranty it at all. Uh, so some companies use mild steel, some companies use a harder material like your T1s or your AR plates. Um, you know, we, we do stand behind, I think we stand behind our machines better than most companies in the industry. And I really wanna, you know, I really take pride in that. All right, so the footage there you saw at the beginning, I was milling some wedges for our 12 ways. These are all wings that get incorporated into the 12-way wedge. I still have some more of another style to run yet, but uh, getting those stocked up and I'm gonna switch over fixtures here for the new style wedge pretty soon. And I uh, just wanna show you the difference between, between what we were using before and what we're going to now for our four-way wedges. All right, so here's a top-down view of what would be our four-way wedge. Okay, so we've got a few inches of weld. We triple pass each side, uh, both sides, top and bottom. We triple pass those with flux core wire, okay? And to make them even stronger than they are now and, and you know, you'd be surprised what these things go through. You know, ripping solid material apart, they really take some abuse. But to make them even better, this is what we're gonna do. So, instead of five inches of weld on each side, we're gonna continue that back and we'll end up having six inches of weld here and then this will all butt together on the back side. Let's take my uh, center section out of this other one here, set it in place here, kind of show you how that works. See how it wraps around the back side here. So if this wing's getting hits a knot and you know put strain on here, the idea is this joint here, this wing is gonna start pushing on the back here on this wing and make everything more solid all the way around. So <clears throat> at Wolf Ridge, we're all, always about making things better, making each machine better than the last. And just because you've been doing something the same for the last five, six years, doesn't mean it couldn't be better. And uh, this here is one example, um, making things better, making things last longer. I think that's gonna really help, especially in weld. Uh, I think it might be a good, you know, change for, uh, you know, for profitability, for, for us to make things faster. Um, as, you know, as you know, the lead times right now are, about six or seven months for a new wood splitter 
from us here and we'd like to get that down to where it's you know maybe three months and um, you know the fact that we've had you know we're actually down to about 500 machines on order now whereas you know in 2021 we had about 680 I think was the peak of machines on order so those lead times you know every little change that we can do to make the machines just as strong or stronger and being built faster is great you know for the company and great for our customers getting those machines out the door faster and uh, hopefully you guys like this uh, new design I'm gonna take this fixture out we've got 15 of the wings done for the 12 way wedges that should last a couple weeks maybe <laughs> um, but uh, I'm gonna switch fixtures over kind of clean up the mill here switch change over to the new wing design and we're gonna give that a try um, mill some of those wings and get them over to weld and get them guys putting some together here for our for next loads coming up and uh, I would think this new style wing should be on uh, machines maybe number 1880 on up something like that maybe number 1900 on up um, but I'm gonna set you down here and you guys can see what it takes to get changed over here on the mill So we're all set up. We got our height set. We got our first set of new wings in the mill. And you see we just laser cut out a relief here so that that, that can fit right down in the notch with, with you know, pretty well easy. And uh, there might be a little bit of a burr on the inside of that one there, making it a little higher on this side than it is on this side. I think once you once we run them, once we run them a little bit here, some of that burrs and little spatter pieces from uh, fitting them together 
can see there's a little bit of a gap here. I'm guessing there's a, a chunk of spatter down in there. We'll take and run these, see how they turn out, and go from there. I'm gonna fire up my coolant. We're just using a cool mist sprayer, and this is a cool mist concentrate that we use. And uh, just gonna spray a little mist on those carbide cutters to keep them cool. You see that mist coming out now. So we're good to, good to turn the spindle on and start going to town here. Dummy. Turn your feed rate down before you start hammering on it. Well guys, hope you can hear me. Running low on battery. I'm gonna get that milled. And uh, get them milled out and start working on the next set here. Thanks so much for watching guys. Uh, if you haven't done so already, if you would like our videos, please hit that subscribe button. And uh, I'm gonna keep milling along here. Get a bunch more wings done here yet this weekend and uh, get them ready for the guys to start welding next week. Thanks so much for watching now, take care.